All right, guys, so we're talking about warm air and cold air and how they're kind of different. So if you look at cold air and you think about the way we've talked about solid liquids and gases, cold air is going to be much closer to being a liquid because as you cool down a gas, it becomes a liquid. If you can make a gas cold enough, you can actually turn it into a liquid. Now, on the other hand, if we want to talk about warm air. Warm air is kind of the opposite. Warm air is spread out quite a bit and the particles are moving around a little bit more and even though they're both a gas you can see they're actually spaced out quite a bit differently. And so with cold air you can see over here with cold air you get uh, more pressure because it's more dense and it's pushing down on you. You can see these particles are a lot closer together and that's going to be a more dense and a higher pressure. Warm air is much more spread out and so the warm air is going to be rising and that's less pressure pushing down on you. They're actually floating upward so that would be a low pressure system. So even though these are both gases, they look differently. Gases can be spaced out differently depending on their temperature. So cold air packed together really tight and warm air is not packed together really at all. It's more spread out. 